So a staple of Assassin's Creed is its very unique approach to movement, specifically in its parkour. We've seen four systems in the mainline series that range in quality, so today I thought I'd give my opinion on which I like best and which I like worst. As usual, this is just an opinion, if you guys disagree I'm totally fine with that and I'd even be interested in knowing why. With that said though, here's my own personal rankings of each parkour system in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Quite predictably, the Origins and Odyssey parkour systems come in dead last on the list, and this is the only system I can say I dislike, as this is parkour at its most basic and stripped down point. One of my biggest issues with the system is the complete lack of momentum. Say what you will about Unity or Syndicate's parkour, but at least there was a sense of fluidity and movement to it. You really don't have that here. The system isn't in depth, nor is it ever really rewarding or engaging to use, in part because most things are climbable and you don't have to figure much out. There's a few climbing puzzles like the pyramids in Origins, but oftentimes you just find yourself holding A and up on the analog stick and doing not much else. Moving from the bottom of a building to the top of one vertically is pretty much the primary function of Origins parkour. You can't eject, free jump or break your movements and the whole system ends up feeling very on rails and isn't really engaging, even less so in Odyssey when full damage is removed completely which takes away the element of risk for reward or any point in having an effective descent. Something that I really like in a parkour system that's going to come up again is freedom of movement, that if you see a building in front of you, there's multiple viable ways to scale it, and at any point you can use any manner of techniques to get up or around it. This system doesn't really have any of that freedom, nor does it have any depth. It works, but for Assassin's Creed, a series so focused on its unique traversal, it's quite disappointing. So next, I put the AC3 to Rogue Parkour system, which you don't really hear get talked about very much, as it is fairly middle of the road. This system came off the back of the first parkour system, and although it's lower on the list than that system, there are some nice improvements, like being able to vault over things, tree running, and jumping through windows. But in terms of the bulk of the traversal that you do in cities, I don't feel it's as good as that previous system. In the games before AC3, you had a lot of choice, in part due to being able to cancel movements. It opened up far more options for you, but in AC3 it simply isn't there. There's also the fact that you can't descend by simply holding the right trigger on the end of the platform, and it's also quite, you know, scripted and you don't feel the same freedom nor precision you had in the previous games, and the reason why I say it's the middle of the road is because it can still competently get you from place to place, you can still side eject, and it just does what it has to. It's nothing great and it does feel like a step back, but it's not too bad either. So this is one I'll get the most comments about, but the system introduced in Unity isn't my favourite. I know it's considered the best by a lot of people these days, but I disagree with that personally. It's often said to be the best looking, which it can be, especially when you've got like a park or wizard likely okay playing, but oftentimes the game does jitter, and Unity does have something of an input lag, although you can get some really nice looking animations at times. What I think this system is the best at out of the entire series is Descent. Descending a building in one of these games is really satisfying, less so in Syndicate because the buildings aren't really made for that and you'll have these five story buildings with nothing but wall but in Paris it is quite good. Obviously the general elephant in the room is Syndicate as parkour in that game simply isn't viable but I'm talking about the actual system itself and you have plenty of opportunities to use that system in Paris. My biggest issue with the system is again the feeling of being on rails and a lack of accuracy. You can do some ejects in Unity but generally Arno is quite sticky. Like there's no other way to put it really but being mounted to a wall you really are stuck to it. You also can't cancel out of movements and so you have this trade-off of looking nice in exchange for actual options. I know for so many of you guys this is your favourite and I do get why, don't get me wrong, but I just like having more freedom in a parkour system more than anything, which takes us perfectly onto the number one spot. So the number one spot on this list is the parkour system we had in the first four games. Don't get me wrong, it isn't the perfect system, but I think it's the best we've gotten so far and one I can't really pick holes in. One thing I brought up again and again in this list is freedom and options, and that's exactly what this system gives you. It doesn't quite have the style of Unity's parkour, but in exchange for that you get so much freedom. Compare being mounted to a wall in one of the Ezio games to any of the others and you have far more options. You can eject in any direction, regardless of how dangerous it may be, you can drop all the way to the ground or potentially your death, you can drop and grab onto something, climb leap, use your hook blade, that's another thing I love about this, the amount of options and features like the hook blade or the climb leap, they seem minimal 
but they give you so many more opportunities in the world and you have plenty of chances to use them. Being able to cancel out of movements is so important and when I say that other systems have felt restrictive, I mean that you'll hold RT and you have a lot of things done for you. In these games, every jump is very accurate and despite not being the best looking, it's by far not just the most functional, but the most fun and the most rewarding to use, at least in my opinion, but I'd love to know your guys' take on this. Before I do go, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Jaden L. I've needed a decent banner for a while and he made me one without even asking and I really appreciate that. Here's my old one and here's the one he made and it looks great. It's the type of art I wish I was able to make and I really appreciate you making that for the channel. It really does mean a lot and if you want to follow him, I'll leave his Twitter at on the screen now. Thanks again and thank all you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, maybe leave a like and if you didn't, maybe let me know why. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all next time.